first one, it's not about being significant. It's not about everybody loving you. It's not about fame. You are as happy as the emotions that you create for other people. And sometimes it takes people a while to work that out. You want to be rich? If I give you 50 cents, you don't feel rich. But if you give 50 cents to a little kid, you feel rich. Contribution is where your joy is. But the fool's gold is attention. We live in a, in a world where it's an attention currency. It's no longer about information or economy, it's attention. And that's gonna make you miserable. It's about contribution. That would be the first one. Second one, I think everybody wants to live into what they're capable of. Everybody has a talent and intellect that they want to use. And I think that um, I think that it's worth exploring that. And the way to do that, if I don't think you always need to do it in your work. You just need to make sure your work has enough boundaries that it doesn't take over the rest of your life so that you can foster your own interests. Okay, so work needs some boundaries. And I think the third thing is that often we talk about love and we think that it's corny. We, we say something nice to someone and it's all awkward. Everyone's oh, it's stupid and we take the tension away with a joke. I think people are fundamentally uncomfortable with warm feelings. But that's the thing that we want in life. Yet people don't know how to have a conversation that it's loving. They don't know how to hold someone's pain and, and, and sit with them when they're sad. They try to say, oh, don't worry about it, and they cheer them up. Like, just, we can be sad for a while and we should be happy for a while. I think it's worth developing your capacity to hold an emotion with the people you love and not rush it into something else because you're uncomfortable. Thank you.